hey guys welcome to my new video in this video i'm going to talk about flutter and git installation hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get all new notifications from us i will give the link in the description all the flutter installation documentation uh, so just i will click on git for windows after the clicking on it it will open the page it will start downloading automatically if it doesn't start click here to download manually else you can download as per your system specification maybe your system may be 32 bit or 64 bit version so my system is 64 bit version i'm downloading 64 bit uh, windows setup so the windows setup is started downloading the git version uh, so after downloading it uh, just uh, open it and uh, install uh, it will show on your pop up and click on next i uh, don't change anything path or directory just click on next keep it default just click on next again keep it keep uh, click on next again okay so don't change anything click on next and let's again next click on next again so install it after that uh, it will start extracting the files so as it takes some time to extract all the files So it has installed successfully. Just uncheck the checkbox VCS release notes and click on next. After that, get back to the Flutter SDK installation documentation page. Uh, then scroll down. You'll get Flutter SDK zip file for Windows. Uh, click on it. Uh, the, you can see the zip file has started downloading. It is around 600 MB. It takes some time to download. After it completes downloading, just click on show in folder. After clicking on it, uh, in a Flutter zip file, right click on it and uh, click on extract files. And change the path to uh, keep it on localhost itself, uh, and but change the folder src slash flutter. src slash flutter then click on OK it will take some time to extract it has started extracting the files to uh, src slash flutter so uh, I just fast forward this video so it it takes a little time to install, extract all the files so after it completes extracting all the files uh, minimize this window and just get back to the uh, locally C Click on local DC. After that, you'll get the SRC folder in that. Click on it. After clicking on it, you'll get to Flutter and click on Flutter again. Uh, you can see Flutter underscore console or batch file. Click on it. After clicking on it, you can see the Flutter welcome page. Uh, it has successfully installed the Flutter console. Uh, you can check uh, whether the Flutter SDK is correctly working. You can type uh, some commands like uh, Flutter version. I'm going to type Flutter version. So Flutter version. Just enter. After entering, you can see that uh, the Flutter documentation and the Flutter version 1.12.1 and the ch stable channel framework and uh, engine and the Dart version 2.7.2 I'm just going to exit this EXIT after exiting just go to bin folder just go to bin click on it after clicking on it uh, go to address bar and right click on it after right click you gotta copy the path uh, for copying it, uh, go to search bar. In search bar, type env. Uh, the en environment uh, edit the environment variables, system variables. So after that, you can uh, click on environment variables button. Click on new. In that, uh, give variable name as path. C uh, keep it uh, caps. Uh, just uh, paste the path here and click on OK. Again, click on OK. So it has uh, successfully pasted uh, done. Then click on OK. Again, click on OK. That's it. 
after clicking on it, uh, just uh, to check whether the path is working correctly, you can check from any uh, anywhere. You can run command from just run the run as administrator of running on it. Just uh, type Flutter version. Uh, you can come to know that the path is working correctly. Just type in the Flutter, F L U T T E R Flutter version, and enter. After that, you can come to see that a Flutter version is visible here. You can run uh, Flutter from anywhere in the Windows system. So it will be helpful uh, whenever we do programming. So in next video, I will show you how to set up SDK with Android Studio, Flutter SDK with Android Studio. Okay.